the collared shirt with like a vest over. Oh, I'm gonna bring a bag and it's gonna match with everything that I'm wearing. Who thought this was cute? Like what, do I think I live in the 70s? No, this was like 2008. And then you go and wear that. <laughs> the first day. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are on my couch. I wanted to change up the scenery, I guess. I've never filmed on my couch, so. Wait, no, that is such a lie, yes I have. I got my friend Jeffrey over here, super cute, and we also have it's the little baby. I, I haven't really named it, so. Um, they're just gonna be our buddies for today. But I'm really excited because I have been wanting to do this video ever since I saw a TikTok about it. And it was basically just people like rating their outfits from like high school and whatever. Some people like rate their prom dresses, homecoming dresses, whatever. Okay, I feel like that angle is a lot better than before. I'm just gonna scooch on over here. Okay, so we're just gonna lay low here. Very relaxed video today. So very first photo is from, I think this is the very first day of fourth grade. <laughs> We're gonna zoom in into this outfit. <laughs> Number one, what is the color scheme that is happening here? Blue and pink? And we all know this is a justice outfit, like through and through, head to toes, justice. That is where we shopped. Limited two, OGs remember limited two? A hat, look at that plaid hat. And then the collared shirt with like a vest over, oh, eh. like the hat, the shirt, the skirt, and the shoes are all the same pattern. But I'm just genuinely confused as where, as to where like, obviously my mom picked out this outfit. Mom, where, what's the pink in this? Like where, where did that come from? I'm gonna give this outfit for being fourth grade and my mom, you know, putting this together. Then again, it could have just been on a mannequin in justice. Who really knows what actually happened behind the scenes? I don't even know how to read it. Like what, a five? It doesn't deserve a five, but it also doesn't deserve a three. Like, and it, does, it doesn't deserve anything above a five. We're gonna give it a four out of 10. This next one is not a first day of school outfit, but again, oh, 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 I'm pretty sure this was fourth grade. Who does she think she is? Again, with like the head to toe matching color scheme and plaid. Who was plaid like a thing in that bag? Is it a backpack? If it's a backpack, why am I wearing it like that? And if it's not a backpack, again, why am I wearing it like that? And we got the hair flip with the side. I felt like Hannah Montana in this, I kid you not. The boots, everything, I was like, I'm gonna be famous one day. The vest and the skirt, obviously, this, this has to be justice, right? I don't know what design is on the t-shirt or whatever shirt that is. And then the fact that the sleeves like don't go all the way down, they're like quarter length, like that, ha that is not comfortable. And the boots, the boots, look at the heel. Those are glitter, sparkly, hot pink heeled boots. Like what, do I think I live in the 70s? No, this was like 2008. This is just atrocious is what it is. Okay, this next outfit is not for first day of school, but this was a, my very first concert I've ever been to, which was Taylor Swift. And again, we got the whole Justice matchy matchy outfit, the hat, the jacket, the skirt, and the shoes once again are all the same, the exact same. Cause you know, you gotta pull it all together. But the tank top, the tank top. There's so many ways I could have made this so much better. And the fact that the hat isn't like on straight, it's like to the side. Who thought this was cute? Mom, mom, <laughs> what are you doing? What were you doing? What are you thinking? How did you allow that? And the sad part is, I didn't only wear that just to one concert. I wore it to also a Miley Cyrus concert. I don't know if this picture was actually taken before the Taylor Swift one or the Miley Cyrus one. Either way, I wore the exact same outfit. Um, you know, this one actually isn't terrible. It's bad, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but it's not like bad, bad. I'll give it like a six. Okay, maybe a five. A five out of 10. Oh wait, I didn't rate the last one. Okay, the last one with the pink. It's definitely a three. <laughs> the hair, it, it, the boots. Uh, mm -mm. Moving on to first day of middle school, sixth grade. I thought I was the coolest person ever. Whenever I graduated fifth grade, I was like, wow, I am like super old and everyone's gonna think I'm so cool. I don't. And then you go and wear that <laughs> the first day. What is this? Why is everything the same? Let me just point out the side bangs. 
that. But I didn't even really have side bangs. I was just like, <laughs> oh no, no. You can't really see the details in this outfit, but number one, the print on the leggings and on the top thing, whatever the heck that even is, it's a newspaper print, but you know, like colorful. And I can't tell you what it said on it or anything. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. These shoes were actually self-designed by yours truly. Yeah. Um, you know, when Converse did the whole thing where you can like literally make your own, like do whatever you want with your shoes. I don't know if they still do that or not, but I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make the cutest shoes ever. And so on one side I did hot pink. On the other side I did this teal blue. And I think the middle like tongue part was splatter paint and the shoelaces were lime green. Why? Oh, and then I think the back of them had like my name on it or something stupid. But you know, it went with the outfit perfectly, right? Like it totally ties everything together. You know, the pose is there, like <laughs> the classic in front of the door picture too. And then the bag, it's not even a backpack. I thought I was too cool for school and I was like, I'm gonna bring a bag and it's gonna match with everything that I'm wearing. No, oh, it's so bad. This. I think this has got to be one of, mm, I don't know, there's some bad ones coming up. If you think it can't get worse, it can. I'll, I'm gonna give this a three, <laughs> three out of 10. Moving on, I think this next one is the first day of seventh grade. Y'all are not ready. <laughs> this has got to be the worst one. A little moment of silence. What? First of all, me just standing there. <laughs> like, come on, bring the confidence up a little bit with an outfit like that. Why? Whenever I found these zebra print pants, I wanna say I was shopping with my mom at like Dillard's or something, and I was like, zebra print pants, those are mine. I feel like everyone had the phase of zebra print everything. Maybe not, I don't know, but I, I definitely did. And I was like, these pants, I need these pants. Then my mom, you know, of course, found an outfit, the little jacket shrug thing, I don't know what that is, that was definitely my mom's. And I was like, I need something to wear it over it, because you know, dress code's a thing, can't just wear a tank top to school. And it's the layering of the tank tops that really does it for me, the pink with the white tank top on, like what? Why did I have to wear a tank top underneath the tank top? That makes no sense. And then the belt, the belt, zebra print, of course, like every other outfit I have showed you guys, it all has to tie together. It all has to have the exact same print. And the necklace, this large freaking cross, I have like pink jewels in it, I think. Again, I think. I wanna say that was my mom's too. I don't know though. But why? And the shoes! Why was I thinking, yeah, a hot pink tank top will really make this outfit great. Why wasn't I bullied more in middle school? Like what is that? And also, can we just zoom in on this backpack right there? That is like bigger than me. I did not need that much stuff for middle school. I'm gonna give this one a four, maybe a five. I'll give it a five out of 10. This next outfit, I don't know what year this was. It could have been seventh grade or eighth grade. It was not a first day of school, but it was the first party I ever went to. And I, you can't even call it a party. It's, it was just like, I don't know, maybe it was a party. This, the like popular group of middle school, I got invited to it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to wear such a cute outfit. And I was so excited and I wore this. First of all, the headband, Headbands were like a huge thing for me. I was obsessed with the headband. Oh gosh, there's a necklace with it. Oh no, no, no. Everything about this is not good. So the way this shirt works, it's actually two shirts in case you cannot tell. So the butterfly thing is like a little shrug off the shoulder, like one shoulder thing. But you know, it was kind of cold during this time of year whenever I was wearing this and I was like, oh, well I have to wear, you know, something underneath it to, you know, stay warm. And I want to say the back of it like goes so far. Like what is that part? Oh, mm. I did not need that long of a necklace with that top. Like what is that? That's just like, it's just dangling there. The jeans, I know those are miss me jeans. <laughs> Why did we think we could have the, all these jewels on our butt? Like, oh yeah, look at my, no. But no, I thought I was really popping out. <laughs> I thought I was gonna walk up into that house and like every guy was gonna be, oh, she's cute. Like in what, in eighth grade? <laughs> For real. This isn't terrible though. You can see I'm on the come up of like l leaving the whole pattern phase maybe. But like, what's, what's the headband? Like that was not necessary. Um, I'll give this one like a six or a seven. Like a six, maybe. And first day of high school. 
I think we went back to the whole like everything has to match again But it's okay. What is my hair? And you know the phase of the whole chunky necklaces Bleh. And the chevron phase, you know <laughs> the chevron like little bright dress with the chunky necklaces from um, Charm and Charlie's <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. And like the lace at the bottom of this top, and I know there's a tank top underneath it. I'm like layering on layering. And like the colored skinny jeans. I was so against colored skinny jeans for the longest time. And then I'm always the last one to like hop on the bandwagon and be like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And then the trend goes away. Red jeans, cool. And then the sandals, I don't know. Like, Maddie, roll up the jeans. Clearly your legs are not long enough for them. Go get them hemmed. I don't know, do something, except not just like have them like that, and I feel like those shoes are way too, I remember those shoes. Those shoes never fit me. No wonder my feet are spilling out of them, my goodness. It's truly terrible. And this backpack, I was so excited. I don't remember where I got it, but I know the pocket had like the Galaxy print on it when Galaxy was like the coolest, trendiest thing, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm trendy. Well, that comes to the end of today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the evolution of my wardrobes. There's a lot more where that came from. And if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know. I was just really inspired by all these TikToks. I thought they were really funny, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.